Hello, my name is Eric Michael. I'm a pre-sales systems engineer with Symantec focused on our security products. Today I'm going to demonstrate blocking USB devices, specifically USB devices uh, relating to storage. Uh, so to set our stage here, I've got my endpoint protection manager here on the screen. I'm also remote desktoped into a physical machine. So what I'm going to do on this physical machine right now is I'm going to plug in two devices. Uh, the first is a USB thumb drive. And the second is an iPhone 5S. Um, obviously, you can't see me plugging those in, but you can see the device is populated here inside Windows Explorer. There's the uh, thumb drive, and there's, of course, my portable device with uh, its own built-in storage. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect those now for our demo here. So there's the thumb drive, and there's the iPhone. OK, we're going to minimize this window, and I'm going to go over here to our endpoint protection manager. We're going to policies, application device control. I'm going to add an application device control policy here. Okay. I'm going to give it a name. We're going to call it block USB storage. Okay. I'm going to go to the device control. This is where it gets a little confusing because what we do not want to do is just come in here and hit storage volumes or something like that. So we want to select USB. So what I'm doing is I'm blocking all USB devices. Now, of course, that's not going to work that well for things like keyboards and mice. So down under, under devices excluded from blocking, I'm going to select human interface devices. And those are not going to be excluded. I'm going to go ahead to the log detected here. And I'm even going to display a message here. Okay, This is a demo of the USB device blocking. OK. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit OK. I'm not going to sign it right there. I'm going to go over to my clients. Okay. And this is my test group. There's my uh, little test machine that I'm working with here. I'm going to go ahead and add application device control, tasks, replace policy. <clears throat> We're going to select this one that's labeled block USB storage. Hit OK. All right. Now, we're going to go back over to our uh, remote desktop here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, force this to just do a quick update here. Update policy. Yes. And if I go into my endpoint protection client here, where did it go? Yep, I'm just going to open that back up. Help oh, troubleshooting. OK, and we can see here 12.08 PM. So yes, it did just update. OK, so now we should be able to. Uh, I already got an alert there. Let me go ahead and plug in a storage device here. It's our thumb drive. And we should be getting our pop-up message there. There we go. This is a demo of the USB device blocking. And I'm also going to plug in this iPhone here. So they're both plugged in. And if I go over and open Windows Explorer here, I can see I do not have those devices appearing like I did a minute ago. Now, one interesting side note to this is the iPhone that I just plugged in, it is plugged in. I, obviously, I can't show you this. You've got to trust me on this. But it is showing connected and charging. So I'm able to pull power off that port. We haven't shut the port off altogether. I'm able to pull power off the port. I'm able to charge my device. But I'm not opening iTunes. We're not connecting to anything like that because that device is blocked. And there you go. That concludes this demo. Thank you for watching. Thank you.